everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we are making these adorable barefoot sandals and we are using beads and feathers in our work. So we're not just crocheting, we're beading as well. So this is a lot of fun to make and it's such a simple pattern. Anybody can make this. So I'll just get right into the supplies we need and we'll get right on started making these this project. So the type of yarn I'm using today, this is Fibra Natura and it's it's in sea song. I don't actually have the specific color. Uh, the color on here says 40107, so probably their dye lot is this color, um, but it doesn't, it's just a, a like a sage green kind of color that I'm using. It is 80% cotton and 20% sea cell, so uh, you can use any type of cotton yarn. You can use any bamboo type of yarn. Um, I would use some type of natural yarn though for these, uh, this type of project just because um, it's more, it's going to be right on the skin and out in nature is barefoot sandals so you're going to be outside. So you can get the same yarn as me or you can get any other type of yarn that you'd like. Uh, this is a, I think this is a 10 ply, let's see here. I just want to make sure that you can get this, well it's made in Turkey, that's exciting. Um, it doesn't say what ply it is or if it's a medium type of yarn, but we're not using that much. This is 109 yards of a ball. We're going to be using less than 50 yards. So, oh there it is. It's a size 4 medium. That is so tiny in there. <laughs> so it's a size 4 medium yarn, so it's a worsted weight type of yarn. So you can use any 10 ply yarn that you have available. Um, but the hook size we're using today is a very small hook. So I would recommend a thinner yarn, uh, very similar to like Caron Simply Soft. If you're if you can if you're familiar with Caron Simply Soft, that's the type of material we'll be uh, similarly using. But this is a 2.75 millimeter crochet hook, so it's a very tiny. Uh, you could use a three millimeter if you wanted to though. So a uh, three millimeter I believe is a D, oh just kidding, 3.25 is a D size hook. So you could use a D size hook if you wanted to, but I'm going to demonstrate in a 2.75 millimeter hook. We are also going to need two sets of yarn needles, or, or you can use one, one type. Just the smaller one is good for uh, with the bead work. The holes in the beads are very tiny, and the sewing needle just helps with that. You could also use thread, but I'm using the yarn that I'm working with, and I'll show you how I do that um, to make it uh, thinner. I just kind of pull it apart and use the thread pieces that are uh, in the ply. Also the bigger uh, yarn needle is good for just uh, sewing in ends and those kinds of things so that's good. You want to have uh, an assortment amount of beads. Uh, you can see here that I have equal amounts of beads on each side. So I have, let's see here, six, 12 beads of this type, um, these wooden beads, and then two, four, six, eight types of these smaller wooden beads. Then I have four of these bone beads and four of these turquoise beads. So you need to double that for the other side. Plus on the top of here, I have these three types of beads as well. So I just got these at the local bead shop. There's a bead store nearby so I, you can get, you know, any beads at any craft shop that you prefer. So just an assortment amount of beads that you want. Then also a scissors. Um, also I would recommend if you're going to use a feather, I have a feather here, a peacock feather that I'm using and you, I used a crimping bead here to kind of crimp it tight and secure it to this bead and then I could sew it onto my sandal here. So if you need a crimping bead and a feather, then you will also need a pliers to squeeze that crimping bead tight. And then lastly a scissors obviously to cut our yarn and that kind of stuff. So make sure you have all these supplies. I will put all these supplies in the materials section on the blog, which speaking of blog, that link is in the description of this video. So make sure you click that and check out the blog. You'll see photos of these on my feet and you will be able to see how these work because they don't really look like barefoot sandals right now. They just look like a bunch of chains and some feathers. So you want to see the photos and how these work. This is obviously the toe hole and then this will go over your foot and then this will go around 
around your ankle and then those these just tie up your legs to make them all pretty so you can wear them at the beach or something so or they're very you know these are very popular at Coachella this year so you can uh, see that like at music festivals these are very popular so I am going to start making them soon but before I do I do want to mention there are other links in the description of this video there's a link to my Facebook page make sure you like my page on Facebook and share your photos on Facebook of whatever patterns or crochet work you're working on right now share a photo of what you're working on and uh, if you make these I'd absolutely love to see if you make these and what colors you use and all that good stuff what color beads you use and get creative and also there is a link to my Instagram page. Make sure you're following me on Instagram and double tapping my photos. And also, uh, make sure if you post a photo of your crochet work on Instagram, be sure to hashtag Yarn Utopia so that I can see your work and I'll go double tap yours as well and comment on my faves. Make sure you subscribe to my channel here on YouTube and you can follow me on Snapchat. I am at Yarn Utopia, so you can follow me on Snapchat, see behind the scenes clips of what we do here at Yarn Utopia headquarters. I'd like to thank my dad for as much for taking the time out to make these videos with us he is our videographer editor and photographer for all of our videos so like I said make sure you subscribe to our channel and if you have a moment go to our channel on YouTube and on the right hand side if you scroll down a little there's a blue button that says support make sure you click that support button and support us in any way you can and those of you who have already supported us and donated that is so greatly appreciated so you guys are the best so thank you so much so let's just Let's get started in making these fabulous uh, barefoot sandals. Okay, to start off, we want to start with a fairly long tail to start off with, about uh, six to eight inches, and we want to put that over our long tail that's um, attached to our, our ball of yarn, and then we want to fold this down over the long tail that's attached to the ball of yarn, and then pull that through to make a slip knot. Just like that. So now we have a slip knot with a long tail here uh, for later on. We're going to use that for sewing. So now insert your hook and we can start. We need to start off now, it depends on how long or yeah, how long you want your strap to be. I want mine to be able to go all the way up to the knee, so it's I'm going to chain 300. Um, you can chain as many as you want, um, but I'm going to go 300, and then plus for the sandal part, we need to chain 45. So whatever chain amount you're going to do for the strap, then do add 45 to that, because we'll be using 45 chains for the sandal part on the foot. So I'm just going to start off with with 345 chains. You can do the same if you'd like. So just yarn over and pull through. That's one. Yarn over and pull through. That's two. Yarn over and pull through. That's three. I won't make you watch all 345 chains that I'm making. So I'm just going to continue doing this off camera. Once I have my 345 chains, I will meet you up and we'll go on to the next step. All right, once you have finished uh, making enough chains, uh, this is what it should look like, something like this, just a bunch of chains. I did uh, the 345. You can do, you know, 245 or uh, then you could do even 150 plus 45 or something like that. So that would be like, what, 195? So you can do as many chains as you want, but make sure that these last uh, 45 chains are what's going to be on your foot. So now we want to count back 15 chains and make a slip stitch in the 15th chain. So the loop on your hook never counts as anything. So count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen right in here. What I like to do is actually, you see the chain looking like this? You want to turn it toward you so you're going in the back ridges here. So right in that back ridge of the 15th chain, we're going to slip stitch. So insert your hook and then yarn over with your yarn and then pull through and pull through on the loop, that, that loop that's on your hook like that. Okay, so pull through everything. So now you just made your toe hole. So that's where the toe is going to fit through. So now we need to chain one. So yarn over and pull through one. 
And now we are going to skip this next chain here and we are going to half double crochet into the next chain right here. And remember, I'm going to turn this toward me so I'm going to look at the back ridges. You see these back ridges just like that? We're going to work into those. So we're going to skip this next chain and we're going to half double crochet into here. A half double crochet is yarn over, go into the chain, then yarn over and pull through. And now you have three loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. Okay, and that is a half double crochet. Now we're going to chain one, and then we're going to repeat what we just did 12 times. So that was the first time, so half double crochet, chain one, skip the next stitch, half double crochet into the next chain. So yarn over go into this chain here, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through all three loops on your hook, and then chain one. Okay, then skip the next chain, yarn over, go into the next chain, then yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Okay, then chain one, skip the next chain and half double crochet into the next chain. Okay, and then make sure you chain one, skip the next chain, I yarn over, I'm going into the next chain after that, then yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through all three loops. Okay, so let's see here, that's one, two, three, four, five, chain one, this is six, and remember I'm working in the back ridges of my chain as well. Then chain one, skip the next stitch, half double crochet in the next chain. I say chain and stitch intertwined here. So you want to do that until you have 12 of these half double crochets. I'm having a little struggle with my chain, there we go. So just make sure that you have 12 of these half double crochets and then I'll meet you up and we will go on to the next step. Okay, when you make your last, uh, your 12th half double crochet here, just like this, your work should look like this. And when you make your last one, make sure to chain one after your last, your 12th half double crochet. So yarn over, pull through. Now we are going to skip this next chain here and we are going to slip stitch into this next chain right here. So go into this next chain and then yarn over and pull through and pull through. Okay, so there's your sandal part. It was that easy. Now we just have to chain the amount that we chained in the beginning here. So I chained 300. So I'm gonna chain 300 on this side. So just yarn over, pull through. One, two, three, four, Five. I'm not going to make you watch all 300. So just chain the amount and then I'll meet you up and we'll fasten off this together and then we'll go on to the next step. Okay, when you've chained your last amount, which in my case was 300, I'm going to fasten off here. So I just like to chain one extra. And then we want to cut our yarn kind of long because we will be using that for sewing later. So just about six to eight inches. And then continue pulling that all the way through just like that, and then pull tight, and that's fastened off. So now you have a barefoot sandal. So you can, you know, just have it plain, just like this. Congratulations, you've made a barefoot sandal and it looks fabulous, it's very simple. But I want to dress it up a little bit with a little bit of embellishment. So let's grab our beads and let's get beading. So you're going to need the supplies that I had mentioned earlier. And we want to do a sequence of beads along the strap here. So let's start on this side. So you can see here the toe hole and then this top of the uh, foot here. And we are going to work along the ankle part of this chain and this chain here. Okay, so we're going to work on one side and then I'll let you do the other side on your own. So I'm just going to, uh, you want to either grab some thread or you can use your yarn that you had used for this project. 
I'm just going to use my yarn. And since my yarn is quite thick, I am going to split this in half and use this. I'm going to um, take this apart and use this as my sewing thread. Okay, so I just took pieces from each side and just kind of am tearing this apart. Okay, so now I have two pieces like this. And then we're going to grab a small sewing needle, okay, a smaller needle, like a thread needle, and we're going to yarn that with our um, yarn. Okay, and then we're going to uh, choose the beads we want, and I already have a sequence ready, so I'm going to do three of these beads. Okay, and then I'm going to put that on the yarn. And I apologize, this is being recorded, so if I make any mistakes, I apologize in advance. And what we're going to do is we're going to skip these first three chains. See where we slip stitched at the um, base or the end of the foot part here? We, there's three chains here. We're going to go into the fourth one and we're going to go right at the bottom loop just like that. Then we're going to go up and pull that yarn through. Okay, like that. Then we're going to go back down into the holes of these beads, just like this. And they are going to be secured on like that. Then I'm going to grab two more beads to put on each side of this piece. So one on this side, and then I'm going to grab my other side and yarn my needle with that. And I'm going to put the same bead on this side. Okay, just like that, and now we have, oh, you know what, that's not the same bead. <laughs> I want to use a different bead, sorry guys. I've got to make it look consistent, so I'll show you again, yarn your needle, go through your bead, and put that on. Okay, now how the heck are we going to secure this? Well, we got to tie some knots. So you don't want to tie the knots too tight. You want them to be kind of um, this uh, loop up here, kind of loose so that these kind of just dangle and they're not too tight against the uh, work, against the sandal. So we're going to kind of do it like we do a slip knot, you know, like twist your yarn and then pull that, put that over, fold that down and then pull that through very similar to a slip knot except we're going to continue pulling okay to make an actual knot and we're going to make it really close to the bead itself just like that okay and you want to tie a few of them so that the bead doesn't go um, over the knot and fall off so we're going down over the bead or over this knot now. So you can tie like three or four knots, I would say, if your if your bead hole is quite large. If your bead hole is, is really tiny, then you will probably only need one knot. But that's creator's choice and that is to be determined by the crafter. So I'm just gonna do it this way. And I'm going to need like three knots. Okay. Once your knots are there and you're kind of secured there, so you can pull on that and see if it's going to fall through. And it's not, so we're going to cut this really short. Okay. Right there. Just like that. And then we're going to do the same thing to the other side, making sure that they are even. 
just like that, and then tie your knots. So again, just like a slip knot, but pull all the way through. Okay, so obviously that knot is really tiny, so we have to do another one. So you can see I'm just twisting it and then folding that over or under, I guess, and pulling this through. Okay, there we go, and there. I need one more. I just feel like that is not secure. But like I said earlier, that is just creator's choice, so you can make as many knots as you need to to secure your beads. Okay, and then once your beads are secure with those knots, you can just cut this super short. And there you have it. Fancy little beads hanging down. And they're secure. So now I'm going to make my next set and what that one is we're going to skip five chains so one two three four five and go into the sixth chain right here but we are going to first yarn our needle with that uh, thread that is the tricky part See, crocheting the sandal was the easy part. <laughs> the beading and the beadwork is the hard part. It's just tedious. There we go. Okay, and now I have these sequins here. I'm going to put this bead on and then this bead on top. I'm going to go through the beads, so pulling them just like that. Okay, and then like I said, skip five, one, two, three, four, five, and go into the sixth one here, bottom loop. And then I'm gonna pull that through, and then I'm gonna go through these beads back down through. Okay, then Taking my needle off, we want to make sure these are hanging nice. And then we're just going to tie this like this. I'm going to put this one over this one. So crisscross them and then go in with that one and tie it like that. And then I'm going to tie it like we did before. So I find it easy to wrap it around my finger like this, then pinch there and flip it. So it kind of just crisscrossed, and then kind of like a slip knot, pull this through, and then pull all the way. Okay, and you just need one knot probably for this one since it's double the thread. Just like that. Okay, then once that is done, then we can cut that short, just like that. Okay, so you can continue to put as many beads up this chain as you'd like. Just skip uh, five chains and go into the sixth chain and add your beads. I'm going to add two more sets and then I'll do my other side the same exact way as this side. And then I'll meet you up when all eight of these are on my sandal and then we will add feathers. Alright, so now I have all my beads attached and this is what it looks like. It looks so fabulous. I just repeated the process like I showed you for these first and second beads here. So then I just made them equally on each side. You can do as many beads as you want. You can go all the way up the leg if you'd like. But now, uh, once you're finished with putting your beads on, however you are doing them, you want to go back to the very beginning where we have these long tails and we are going to put beads on one side and a feather on the other side. You can just add beads or you can do feathers or you can do, you know, tassels, any type of anything really that you'd like. Um, so I'm going to take my yarn needle now, my bigger needle, and just yarn my needle 
with one end. Then I'm going to put on, let me see my sequins here. I'm going to put on this one first. Hopefully this goes through. If not, we'll need a pliers. There we go. So put on, I'm just going to put on three beads here. So one. Oh, come on. Two. And last one. Three. Okay, and then I'm just going to tie it like I tied the other ones, just like a knot, like a slip knot, but going all the way through. Okay, just like that. And then I'm going to cut this short, just like that. So that's one side. Now the other side is going to have my fancy feather. So you can get any kind of feather that you like. I have a little nice little peacock feather here. And what I need to do is put a crimping bead at the end of it. So you can get these at your local bead shop, I guess. And we're just going to slide this inside. Okay, and then all the way down to where I need it to be. And it's about right there. Okay, and then you want to grab your pliers and just squeeze that tight so that it crimps it really tight and that is secure. Awesome, that worked. Okay, so that's not going to slide anywhere. Then you can cut off any excess. Um, feather if you need to. Okay, and then we're going to take our yarn needle and yarn our needle with this side now, with this straggler over here, and go in to, let's see, I'll go this way, into this bead, this crimping bead. Okay, and then we're just going to tie it in a knot. I'm just going to sew it around this chain here. So I'm going to go into the chain and then I'm going to go back in and pull this tight. So that's secure. And I'm going to tie a couple of knots just to be on the safe side. Okay, and then we want to just sew in this end, so we're just going to go in and out of these chains. Okay, and then we can cut that off. And then our sandals are done. Let's stretch that out, and there you go. So now you just have to rewind this if you need to and make one more to make the matching pair. But I have my matching pair already done. So we have two nice sandals. Obviously you can't really tell that they're sandals right now, but um, when you put them on the feet and like you see in the images on the blog, you will see that they are barefoot sandals and those are so popular for music festivals, for the beach, you know, for just for fun, dressing up, you know, other sandals, like regular sandals, just dressing up shoes. So thank you so much for watching and learning how to make these beautiful sandals. I am going to go enjoy them now out in the hot weather we're having. So thanks again for watching. Make sure to check out those links in the description of the video, link to the blog where you'll see images, photos of these on feet. And also, um, you'll see, I'll have the, well, I'm not going to really write out the pattern because it's so simple that you really don't need to write out a pattern. I'll try my best to help you out. But also there is a link to my Facebook, link to my Instagram. Make sure you're following me on both platforms and subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. So thanks again for watching everyone. Have a great rest of your day and happy hooking.